So we're just kind of in here. Um, I don't know how user friendly this is going to be. And uh, I play a lot of Civ and Total War, but I do not play a lot of Paradox titles. So these are the different hexes. Okay, I got my city site. Oh boy. All right, let's get into it. Mm. Ah, so you can choose different types of starting cities. I wonder if I should move here so that I have horses. Unless they just can't make that move, then that'll be a, a different situation. No, I can move there. Is that where my city's range would be, depending on where I moved? I'd have more of the water here. I mean, I'm going to have the horses anyways in my territory. So I, I, right here is good. We're going to find a capital of... Huh. Go with Argin. Oh, there we go. Well, Anson, any advice you got, let me know. Uh, Greece, 133, year one. Orders are an important feature of old world. Units can have, units can move multiple times each turn, but each move consumes one order. Other actions such as attacking or building also consume an order. The remaining orders can be seen in the lower left corner of the screen. We recommend that you first select your worker so that you begin to improve your land. Okay. Wow, look at this. Scouts are fantastic explorers. You can see further into the unknown. They can also hide in trees. Ah, okay. Then you just go into the wilderness and look for new city sites and mysterious ancient ruins. Workers build improvements to your city, rural improvements with the farmer mines, gather raw materials, urban improvements such as barracks or shrines. Okay. All right. <laughs> What's up, Jumping Jawa? Hey, I just, uh. I just want to try to see how this game is going, you know, and give it a shot. Um, let's see. So we have two scouts. We have a worker, a warrior, first melee unit, backbone of your army. Sure. Yep. Pretty basic. So I can start to build different resources. Um, going to think where I want to go first. I think building a farm would probably be the best. Got to work right away. Um, okay, I have a couple of ruins. Oh, so I can just march him right to those ruins, but it's going to take all those turns. Interesting. I want to just move him into the woods. Got out that side of the uh, the region. I'll move him to the north. Head to those ruins right there. That'll just be a turn for him. You can hide in the woods as well. My warriors. I'll start moving to the south. Promote. Just promote them right away. Add a general to lead the unit. Cannot be from a different family. They can fortify. I recognize that from Civ pretty well. Founded Athens. Discovered drama, stone cutting, iron working. Okay. 
Let's see what we have here. Trapping, divination, or administration. Lost treasury leads to treasury two. That's a granary adjacent farms. So, uh, I normally am not the one who leads a charge on a new game like this. I usually play with a uh, my Brohim uh, McCallion, um, and he leads the charge. This game's a little. It seems already a little bit more to it than the typical Civ. So it's gonna just excuse my uh, gameplay while I figure it out, wrap my head around all this stuff. Okay, so we have food rate, iron rate. Wood rate, stone rate, science, civics, training, luxuries, and straight money. Got it. This is my heir, 13 years old. Alexander the Great. Let's uh, end the year and see what happens. Admin treasury, okay. Thank you. I'm going to have to lean on it. Uh, for, for now, I'm going to have to lean on you guys if you guys are more familiar. Um, time passes quickly. You still remember the birth of Prince Alexander, but he's growing up fast and eager to learn. Would you like to educate Prince Alexander? Uh, I kind of want to lean into how he was. And kind of try to like role play that. So I'm going to have him study tactics. Because obviously he was a great military leader. Let's uh, go with tactics. For him. Uh, let's continue to move. My workers. Uh, the, the, that stuff is interesting. The order system. I'm going to have him just move into the ruins. Let's see what happens. Our explorers discover a group of orphaned, homeless, and hungry children hiding in the ruins. Okay. There's room in our caravan for either salvage stone or passengers. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. This is kind of a... Uh... King Philip becomes cruel. We will shelter them. He becomes gracious. But our family member will have minus 40 opinion for 20 years. Or gain child labor. <laughs> Let's do it. Put these kids to work. Fuck them kids. Michael Jordan always said. All right. Let's go here and get these orders. Broken vessels and strange markings. These ruins were once occupied by a tribe from beyond the sea. Study this tribe and widen our understanding or gain multiple scouts. I think getting two scouts instantly is extremely useful. Yeah, that's that's very useful. I really like the uh, the art on uh, all these uh, units. We'll have him start heading that direction. We'll have a uh, homeboy, Philippe, go up there. He did his job. Start traveling out to the west. See what you make out, more city sites. So, Ah, okay. I was like, why is it going to take three years? But that's because it's going to take turns. I'm so used to playing Civ. Um, I'm guessing it adds production to Athens. Let's see if we can see what, what we got going on here. Um, oh, wow. I didn't think about building anything. I should probably have gotten onto that. Uh, 
I didn't see where the child laborer actually went into. I think it was into this. I think it went into civics. I believe. I could, I could be wrong. I could totally be wrong. Uh, but let's see if I can build in the town. I should probably actually start making stuff. Um, I should probably make another settler so I can uh, you know, expand my empire. Might be a little early in the game for that, but we'll we'll see what happens. I still have four orders left. Now I wonder, do you guys know if um you bank orders for the next turn? Or if you do if you use them, they go away. Mohawk Games, hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh just digging in. Only the leader is a zealot. Okay. Perfect. Um, all right. Let's, uh, let's use these turns then. Let's uh, have our scouts keep expanding. I'm going to build a city somewhere. I'm going to want to see... I'm kind of worried about the west here, so let's check it out a little bit. All right. That looks a little safe. Another city-state here. Oh, another discovery. Okay. We'll end the year. A family friend paid a visit to Prince Alexander's school and sent a glowing report about the heir's progress. He appears happy and healthy, and he is excited to return home and take his place in court. The future looks bright. Uh, hmm. Send him a gift of... Send him wine for Revels of Friends. I think if we're going for a role-played Alexander the Great, I think him having... A lot of charisma is important in addition to his tactics. Uh, he can't be a leader like that and not have a lot of charisma. So we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Let him party it up. He is in college, you know, formative years. Okay. What if I can click her and oh wow? Yeah, this this is getting into stuff that you'd see in a Crusader Kings, which. The Paradox games, I am not really super experienced with. That is, like I said, my uh, co-editor. He is very, very versed in the Paradox uh, style of game. When he gets his hands on this and we play some preview stuff together, it's going to be pretty intense. Okay, so workers being built, farm being built. Have our warriors keep expanding and uh, making sure our borders are safe. Are heading to the other city state or city site see if it's clear okay it's looking good so far there's a late game law that allows banking up to a hundred orders wow <laughs> that seems like really late game uh in contrast to what i'm doing also uh real quick Please uh, show support to Mohawk Games for letting people preview Old World and uh, dig into it. It was so weird because my wife and I were just randomly started playing Civ 6 for no real reason. We haven't played it in a while. And you know, playing that made me just kind of look into it. During that, I, I, I stumbled across Old World when the first previews hit and I'm like... What is going on? I need to get my hands on that. I need to create some coverage for that. You know, write about it, you know, get it up there. Like, this looks incredible. And I just felt like a fool, because normally this is the type of thing I would have seen way ahead of time. But, uh, you know, all that matters is that it's here now, launching May 5th, early access, everybody. Um, I got to say, for being early, early access, this is running really well. Um... I like the art style. I'm gonna keep going this way. I'm Oh, okay. I've not dealt with this yet. The warriors use all of its moves and became fatigued. A fatigued unit can be ordered to march, but moves after marching require twice as many orders. Huh. 
Interesting. So I'm not gonna move them anywhere instead. Cool down one year, so you can't just fortify left and right. But I kinda wanna see how that works. Let's do that. And uh, I think our friend here is just, he's out there. Oh. Oh, the goals. Oh, we're getting into my Spartacus stuff now. Court is divided over the recent discovery of the goals. Our, our scholars wish to study the, get the culture, the deep in understanding, but our generals insist these savages deserve no such respect. Let's bring the court together with our decision. Oh, boy. Let us observe their ways and traditions. King Philip becomes intelligent. Or he becomes a tactician, but then he's no longer a commander. I don't mind the goals, so we're going to observe their ways and traditions for now. See how this plays out. I'm hesitant to jump right into combat, like right away. Oh, I have an important decision to make first. Oh, okay. Perfect. In an emergency, you can buy orders for 100 training each, the red shield resource. Yep, okay, I see that. I'm gaining 31 of that a turn. But also, I feel like right now I'm good with that. I don't really feel the need to spend that at the moment. Uh, okay. Farm's almost done getting built. Workers I can keep. Okay, keep expanding. Whoa! Holy fonts! Hmm. So I wonder... Are the goals... A... Are they, are they like the barbarians of this game? Or are they... Because I didn't see them, I don't think, as a nation. Because they, they don't seem to have borders. Obviously, I think if it was a nation, you know, they, they'd have borders and it'd be more of a, a problem. Might have to send some warriors up there. But my settler is almost done building. The farm will get built. These are all promising signs. Hmm. Okay, we're kind of sprawling out here. I kind of got a little pitchfork. <laughs> I got to get another finger here to make this not look so weird. End the year. Ah. Oh, look at that. And a sun. Okay. Court astrologer attends attends the, the birth early access everybody attends the birth of your new son and she prepares a reading of celestial bodies as a gift for the newborn. According to the signs, your child Duke and Antiochus and Antiochus and 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 Duke Anchovies will grow to become ah. Huh. If I'm going to have Alexander be the great one, um, I couldn't, I really wouldn't mind. Him being brave and fighting for Alexander in the field. Can have diplomatic relationship with the goals. Well, everybody knows, if you were a fan of history, 
even if it's a little bit fictional, Crixus is a mighty champion of the goals. So they're a worthy ally to have in the state of the world as it is. Our, our son's gonna be brave. And we're gonna we're definitely gonna try to be diplomatic with the goals. I do not want to have that problem. Um I don't wanna be aggressive and make a poor decision. So hmm. Now the real question is where do I want to expand? Because we have this land right here to the east, and it's kind of nicely covered um, between the valley here, these mountains, has nice water, open plains. It's going to be easy to see people coming from that direction. Well defended up here. I don't have to worry about any of this being flanked or attacked because I have my main city there. I have natural defenses. So I think I want to... Yeah, look at that. You see, like, up there, it's just kind of... I mean, there's just all over the place. There's no kind of protection whatsoever. I'm going to expand over here to this place, and we're going to try to make that happen. Have our settlers make the move. Our worker... Oh, so he can... Um, okay. So he has to then move to the spot and then he can initiate what that is going to be. So if he moves here, then he can then... 60. Right now I'm losing iron. Oh, but a quarry would be really nice. And that's just a flat. I'm not losing any stone, but I'm also not gaining any. I think I'll go with the quarry for now. Because I have two spots where I can build mines. And I'll probably capitalize on these two spots right here for mines. Let's go with stone, and then we'll start worrying about the iron. So we have a truce. Now, I haven't really explored anything up here at the moment. Okay. Now we're getting into some video games. Uh, we're getting into the meat here. So we have our family tree. Father, mother, years you're born, our sons. Oh, I'm not even close to any of that. All right, let me not, oh God. All right. Okay, that's just a log. Okay. Woof. Jeez Louise. Uh, in my professional opinion, this is a good video game. Quote me on that. Okay. Let's see what other unlocks here. Oh, we have the old fashioned map here. Map overview. Replay the actions over the last year. Interesting. And here's the victory scheme, but I have not met another nation yet. So I'm trying to see if there's a way. So if I click... So we're currently in a truce. These are actions that have kind of happened already. My family's empires. Okay, I can see the stats here of the goals. I definitely don't want to ignite a war. Okay. I want to keep expanding my, uh, oh. The scout has moved on to some salt, a harvestable resource. This is also a different mechanic. Again, you gotta excuse me. I know this game has a lot of comparisons um, do different types of things and it's pulling from a lot of different places but like I said from where I'm coming from I got into you know Civ Total War where the games that kind of broke me into deeper games deeper than RTS deeper than Command and Conquer and Battle Realms and Warcraft and things like that 
So my initial comparisons are going to come from a Civ perspective, which, uh, you know, Soren Johnson and the fine folks at Mohawk Games have a lot of experience with, considering that they uh, worked on that franchise. So I know there's other references being made here, but that's just where I'm coming from. So if any of you recognize a mechanic or, you know, know a different reference uh, to a different title or just something you may have seen or an idea that was influenced, you can totally let me know and I'll take that into effect. So I'm going to do that and grab some salt because that seems like a really great idea. Too far from a friendly city. Huh. Considering the way the resource looks. Oh, you could also build a salt mine on it as well. But I wonder, yeah, if that was the case, I wouldn't want to destroy the resource by mining it. Also, look at the thunderclouds over here. That looks awesome. Uh, okay, let's go. Our scout here is really, oh, that's my turns right there. Yep. Your second city. Take a city near a new city. When you found your city, you'll have to choose which family to grant it to. This family will provide powerful bonuses to the city, but consider carefully before making your selection. Hmm. I choose my nation's next family carefully. Okay. Very interesting. After a youth spent watching you in court, your son, Prince Alexander, wishes to participate in politics. He believes that years of study have prepared him for the responsibility. I am ready to work and serve. Hmm. Oh, wow. We have to make a... This is a big choice. A big choice. Um... So I have, I'm playing as uh, Philip of Greece, and I kind of didn't even think about the fact that one of his, his heir to start with is Alexander. Yeah, Alexander's father. Yeah, so I didn't realize, like, oh, wow, I'm going to stumble into an Alexander the Great uh, potential here. So I'm trying to roleplay him being the man like he was. But I got to a point now where he's done with university and he wants to join politics. So... I can say that he is powerful and above petty politics. But he becomes corrupt. Or I can say politics is a noble profession if you stay true to your principles. And he becomes honest. Hmm. And I know this is probably going to be a big choice. Well, I mean... He's, he's most notably a military general, not a politician. But you can shape him out. Has there, has there been military choices in the past? Yeah, I had him be uh, study tactics when he was in school. Okay, well, if he's our path, then I mean, what's the, what's the little hammer mean? That it's I don't know. Hammer. I don't know what the hammer is for at the moment. I don't know. So it's like. Well, what, hover over up top there. It's yeah, 343 plus 9 of it. Ah, civics. Okay. I didn't even see it up there. Civics rate. You used to develop specialists and finish projects. So you're going to gain 100 if you go with the corruption as the counterbalance. W where does corruption play into your... Uh, I think it's a trait because if you look at like, like my mother. Yeah. Governor, she's a schemer. She's losing a uh, uh, training rate for it. Go to your income all the way to the left and see if corruption has a, a pull on that. 264 gold coins, I'm guessing, up top. Yep. Does corruption play into that as one of your skills? Yeah, minus four. Yeah, I'm losing. I lose a little bit. Of, okay. Probably off of King Philip. Discipline also plays in as a plus 16. So discipline is going to give you right there plus, give you plus four gold the corruption's going to kick your ass so I'd probably uh, if he's going to be your next leader I'd, I'd forego the, uh, the building points now and, and take the discipline and the, and the income really later damn you see I told you he knows what he's talking about people 
I'm just a fool at this, all right? You fool! <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just an amateur. I uh, have met the goals, and I'm trying to be friendly with them. <laughs> Jawa, that, that's straight out of uh, CK2 right there. You're king shit. You... <laughs> Oh, I got this great ass fucking leader. Uh, dead. God damn it! Civil war, empire falls apart. <laughs> yeah, for the guy walking, he just slide that I just saw. Yeah. Well, uh, if you go further, it just fast forwards the movement so he gets there quick. Oh, is there actually an for it? Yep, there is. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I gotta have my close. dude. Okay. So I gotta look Thank over you. here. I didn't figure they'd have uh, crazy animations in this. So there's also like, you have orders, you also have fatigue, which I didn't know was a thing. Uh, well, pretty... I, th I think the fatigue plays into their total. Like, you can't, so you had 35 orders, you can't move 35 spaces because they're out of energy. It's a limit to how far they can move. Oh, we have uh, another event here. You heartily recognize a young man who returns from training. Prince Alexander spent the last several years studying to become a member of the court. He's no longer a tactics student. He can hmm. hold a military parade and training exercises. No celebration. Give him the court's clerical work. Oh, so it did strip him of his tactics. So it's that like, uh, you know... Having a military parade serves King Philip, but at this point I'm playing the long game here, so I'd rather give Alexander work because he's going to add more discipline to him. Right, you're, you're moving him to be a lot. Yeah, I want, I want him to do that. All right, I'm going to turn, um, oh, more research. Hmm. Unlocks Hamlet? That's pretty cool. Who is uh, Duke Antiochus? I can't read his name. It's kind of uh, blurry uh, in the stream. Military drill. That. End the year. Man, I couldn't get into Imperator. I wanted to vomit when I played that game. I'd just stick the or. Okay, I can build the city. Your second city? Size? Yep, it's my second. But you can found different types of cities too. It's not just build it and it's based on what's around you. Well, it's the type of the city is based on the ruling family. It looks those are all yeah. major ruling families. So this is what I started with. So if I do this, the same family. So I'll add a citizen. It looks like they're cavalry based. But I'll lose five legitimacy. But if I do these, we won't be connected to the capital. Artisans. Builders, statesmen. Uh, I kind of want to go artisans so I can start really reducing, uh, ramping up production. Well, what is that symbol that it gives you? Okay, Those two, I think, it's, I think that's culture. Um, culture? Where's the culture? Where does that play in? Uh, I think it's when I look at the actual town. I, mean, I look at Athens. Yeah. Look at I can see the city view here. Oh, I built the settlers as well. So, oh, oh, right yeah, here. Okay. Yeah, it is culture, yep. Weak. Weak. No, it's yeah, I have a weak one. culture. If I build that up. Yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, oh, I got slingers. All right. Build some slingers. Is that the Upgrades years to archer. growth? And you're gonna get all that stuff in that amount of time. Well, remember, each turn is a year, so it's like. Right. But is that all cycling right now? Because you're building all that? Or no, no. I, this is my next production that I can I can build out of Athens. Oh, nice. Thanks, Quack. 
cultures per city. Ah, it's okay. culture, man, be in Athens and everything. Yeah, if that's the case, um, the festival would. Were there multiple leaders to choose to play as to start the game, or just? Mm -hmm. uh... And multiple. Yeah. I think there is eight. If. Wow. Yeah, I know. I was, I was like, oh, oh, there's a lot of people here to choose from. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I need to try this game. I'm pretty sure I'll smoke it in about a about an hour. Like, bro, look at my empire. It's massive. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the 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 extra layer that that all this these extra choices are adding to the game, though. It's really nice. All right, so yeah. culture won't add anything, but I still want a lot of output. So this is still going to give me mines and lumber mills, siege units, more workers, urban improvements. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, look what I made! By starting a different family. Wait, you built a culture city and you get Sparta? It must just random name generation. Athens and Sparta being the two most famous. Now, since you have two different families now as ruling parties, uh, is there a potential to break away from you? Yeah, no, I wonder... Because even this looks like the border of like what would be like an AI controlled group, not my own. Like they're well, a different color than mine and entirely. Have the dark blue border and then you have Yeah, then the green arrows or the green blocks. Let's start building some mines. Oh, but I can build structures as well. Oh the amphitheater, the man. Warrior. That should be a culture. My but I kinda don't want to build uh, I could probably build it in the flat ground. Well, the mine here because it's you can only mine in so many places. So I'll do that. Yeah. Struck that. Okay. Check what's happening with the goals. Nothing up here. I haven't met another actual sieve yet. This is a minor sieve, the goals. Yep. Like a city state. It's pretty cool. I actually show that their uh, little tribe thing here is going to become an outpost in 20 years. Nice. I like that they're not just a billion of them everywhere just attacking like psychos. They're just, we met them, like we're cool. It wasn't just <laughs> there to farm. When you're training a unit, it consumes the city's training production rather than it going to the central reserve. Okay. I kind of know what that means. I'm just, yeah, I'm being honest. <laughs> just, I'm working through it. I'm getting there. Oh, damn, the goals are kind of everywhere, though. The goals? The goals. The goals. Those dirty French people. I you mentioned, saying? I mentioned the mighty Crixus. Oh, hello. Can I make it one turn? Yes. You're now known as the Explorer. Uh oh, here we go. I also, I, uh, First David, the event sport. in the game, I got child labor in Athens. Uh, I, I felt I didn't feel good about it, but it was the right choice to make at the time. Uh, I got I got shamed into it, and now I feel shameful about it. Uh, Caravan of frightened families approaches our explorers. Uh oh, raiders! Join us, and we will protect you. Oakland. Huh. Okay, so they can join us, and King Philip becomes gracious. Can send our fighters to face the raider. Give us guides, and we'll pay your tormentors. No, I want to fight. Yeah, send the fighters. Oh, I think they, just, they did. Also, I okay, so there's this thing good. here. Level up. You can add a general, you can promote. So the mm -hmm. thing that's interesting is you can promote before they even fight anybody. Like, right at the beginning of the game, I could have promoted these warriors. But it was going to cost me some of my training rate to do it. Okay, so you can train them to level them up instead of having to actually just let them fight and learn. Yeah. Which is useful, especially if you have orders. So you're not going to be able to just fight with every so single pick, warrior you have every turn. Can you pick any one of those promotion things there? I'm trying to look. So hit that little arrow, maybe it'll pop out. Oh, yes, I do have to choose. Rangers. 
Hmm. Aye, aye, aye. But I can't do it after moving, so I gotta wait. Then I can promote him next turn. Uh, choose your production for Sparta. Okay, so I do get to control their stuff. Man, this game could be, looks like it could be madness when you start to get really, really big. Yeah, and everything's like playing into the, the politics and people are scheming and you're marrying into people. Like, yeah, it just seems like, yep. it just seems like the right amount of, of depth to add to the Civ style formula. Um, add to limp you, dude. I, don't know, I wouldn't even compare it to Civ. It seems. Oh no, it's very different. It's at first, on first look, it feels like that. It moves like that, and then as soon as you start getting the options, it's like, oh, never. This is this is. It's sprawling out it feels, in a way that's like yeah, this is it cool. Feels very akin to a paradox joy. That's why when I was looking at the resources, I'm saying, you know, check out plays into this versus that or over here. That's kind of the same feel. This just seems uh -oh. a little bit lighter. Uh, tutorial legitimacy. Yeah, Cognomen contains the explorer. Your cognomen describes your recent accomplishments, and improving it increases your legitimacy in the eyes of your people. Where is your legitimacy? I'm guessing that crown right there. That must be it. Yeah, it is. Where's the, where's the crown? Right under the portrait. Thirty. Oh, I can't see it. It's blocked by something right now. Ah. Okay, well, that's pretty uh, shitty out of I'll show them who's legitimate. I like the little tutorial messages when you're done. All right, end of year. See what happens. Oh, whoa, whoa! New marriage proposal. What is this, <laughs> dude? I just looked over at the uh, at the uh, Nam box things you can earn. Yep. And I have 1.2k, <laughs> and I thought. I, in my mind, I saw that was the amount of people watching, and I'm like, damn, this game is mad popular! You got a thousand people up in here? Oh, man. I wish. No, that's all good, though. It's fun. Everyone here is Quack and then Jawa and you just guiding me through this. So, I can get a marriage proposal for Prince Alexander. Let's see. So, he's a hero. He's bold, honest, six courage, one charisma, two discipline. We have the capital of Sipsalid and the Argade. Argid? Ar Ar the Arwood? Argid? Yes. I was like, how do you do that again? The Argid families. We should consider how this will affect the court. They go with Art Artemisia, the oligarch. Uh, herder, pastures, and camps, 100% out. Equestrian. wonder what the archetype does for him. Oof. 100 XP for new mounted units. And three charisma. This gives me four charisma, but I lose two discipline. I think I'm going to marry. He's 25. All right. I think I'm going to. She's a rider. Let's do it. Double R. Double R. <laughs> rough ride. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, but that family doesn't like me because I turned down their. Okay. That makes sense. See? Oh, here we go. Ambition. You've unlocked the ability to choose an ambition. Ambitions are goals that your family would like for you to pursue. Completing them will grant you and all your descendants a permanent boost to orders. Completing an ambition immediately unlocks another, and completing 10 will win you the game. So always do your best to fulfill your current ambition. There's only one way to win the game total military domination. Uh, control four cities. Or kill five enemy units. Considering I haven't even seen an enemy unit yet, I think control four cities is probably easier. Probably gonna happen first, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Oh, marriage. I'm getting a lot of tutorials now. You've accepted a marriage proposal for a member of your family. Uh, marriages are a useful diplomatic tool for forming bonds, tribes, and nations. I could have married the bulls. Yeah, that's what Mo so Mohawk Games people who developed this or were in the chat and told me that I can marry the goals and bring them in. You're like, what? Okay. Yeah, I wonder if you could marry them and then somehow uh, work work it into having the rights to rule their territory through marriage. You know, like your child from Alexander and their daughter would have been the next heir, and then bam, you'd have got all their cities when that person came to power.
Okay, so Box just dropped off some nice tasty salad here Um, you're gonna toss it. It's well tossed already. I think I'm gonna go shield bears because I hate Trying to chase down range units when you just have the basic warriors in these types of games Guidance does first range first ten percent Oh a warrior unit has been hard at work training for battle and they're ready to take orders. Who, will you take the role of general and lead them? So you're gonna say, ready for battle. Whoa, whoa, so King Philip can go all the way out in the field? Mm-hmm. Did it change what the unit looks like when he That's, gets? That seems a little crazy. I why don't you, know if I should do that. Why would you send the Duke? Duke's a little young. Look at nah, him. Got this. <laughs> he's, he's three years old. I can't get send little, him. Get that, get that little dude some Gerber and send him on his way. <laughs> like, here's ten jars of Gerber, <laughs> homie. Get out there and start battling. <laughs> Gonna throw tar poop at the, at the people. Like, you can't do that. <laughs> he's too young. You know what? Oh, that's bad, though, because if I'm out there with him, he gets smoked. That's King Philip. Uh, he's he's more badass than uh, Alexander ever was. Okay, so that's it. Oh wow, look at him! They actually, did change the art of the unit. That is awesome. All right, we're playing a good video game, everybody. Woo 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 woo! I can promote him again. Oh, we have Horsebane, Garrison, Engineer. I'm so far behind oh. on the stream. Man, update your future brain. What? I, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, I want to keep. Oh, look at that storm cloud. What is over there? Asgard? Oh, 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 that would be awesome. It looks awesome, but I can't cross that. I wonder if that's just. Oh, that must just be the edge of the world in general. I just can't go there at all. Maybe I'll have him start. Uh, Start exploring the south. It's also weird that you can take one unit and just keep moving them. You can just keep going. You can spend all your orders on one unit. Just well, expanding out. Stamina. Say message. Okay. And you guys can be generals. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm still, I'm still talking to him about that. I did another game had multiplayer until I booted it up. I'm like, whoa, that, that's an option. Also, if, if anyone in the chat is more familiar, um, does anyone here know what the multiplayer is going to consist of, or if, if that's going to be something that comes like later during the early access launch, or if that's something that I'm actually very curious about that. Uh, okay. So I did. I moved them. Beat your ass if you try to fight them. Right? Yeah, I did. they're everywhere. They're really all over the place. Alright, they have a settler coming in five turns, worker in five turns. Uh, I cannot bank the orders yet, so I might as well use them. Warriors on cooldown. Okay. I don't, I don't know, Jawa. This map is awfully small if it's not. I wonder if it's going to expand as he gets further in the game. Yeah, because I haven't even met another Sif yet, and I put a game for six other leaders and myself. Yeah, and if, and if it's not, can you scroll down south of your nation and push the map that way? Or no, I can't push. Stop? I can't push any one direction. But I wonder if there's something that you need to get before you can just run out to those areas. Curious. Yeah. But like I said, it's also early access. I did not read the preview uh, kit to see what was in here, what was not. Um... I think even the turns are limited, so... Is that Mount Vesuvius? Down the south there? Did you see that thing? Like a giant volcano? Right in the middle of the map? At a tip? Oh, right there? Oh, I see that. Emo, em, Emotep? What did you say? Emo, no, that's... I didn't pick Egypt, but they're in the game. Are they really? Yep. Oh, this Where's poor scout. That? He needs to do something. Go that way. Alright, end the year. Okay, you finished building that. Vesuvius. 
for our builders working so long. Uh, okay, built that quarry. Alright, this is an empty, just flat land. I wonder what I can build here. Harvest wine. Like oh, the oracle. Isn't that a wonder? I need to build it on a hill. I wonder. Need 400 stone for that, though. It's really good. That's very expensive. Mm. To, to build that would really be, eat up so much resources that I don't even quite have yet. Ten gold per and tech card. Needs religion. Come on. I kind of want to build a mine here. The Duke and oh, look at him! He's a man. Oh, I can make him the chosen heir. That would not go well. Probably not. Assassinate, imprison. I can divorce his spouse. I can actually rename him. Okay, I'll leave his name, uh, Mr. Anchovies. Wait, you can rename him now? Usually it's when they're born. Yeah, I know, but, eh, you know. Ooh. Grab it. Known as the interpret. Was he in the quarry to figure out how it was made? With the unhappiness, but I gain a stone cutter. All back as much stone as it can. <laughs> That's great. I can leave and King Philip will become superstitious. Minus two wisdom. Minus three science. Minus three percent strength. I definitely don't want to do that. I take my chances and uh. Plus okay. five orders per. But yeah, but I think I'll probably just get five orders right now. I'll get my stuff back, but that's not going to stay with me. One of those orders, you know, per turn in perpetuity. Like you have it forever like that. I'm going to gain a stone cutter. Yeah, that works. All right. There we go. Look at King Philip. I'm just looking for someone to fight. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. A calm barbarian leader arrives in your court, poised and cautious. He says the Danes will not quarrel with your people if you agree to leave them alone. Looks cool. Arthur Canute the Dane. Bloodthirsty. Gay is too courage, too wisdom. All right, well, we're going to war. I want to fight with somebody. Not war. Oh, man. What was I thinking? Okay. Uh, crap. Uh, At the end of my year, I have no turns left. Can you fortify any way she I, I can't. I, I have no orders. This Does order terrain, may be too close. Does terrain play a bonus? Uh, I mean, I think it does. But this terrain's kind of flat. Oh, actually, I actually see it right there. That's what it is. It says we'll win that easy. He said you can buy an order. Quack. You can buy an order? Ooh, where do I do that? Oh, right there. I see that. A hundred military training to buy an order. Alright, let's do that, yeah, and let's, so. and let's fortify. Does fortification get you? Uh, 
Buys a lot more defense. Let's see the, the battle now. What would happen? Yeah, we're losing like half of one pip if they attack. Mm -hmm. From those guys, about the spears. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's trust me. But those guys that three attack. They're the same attack as the uh, raiders in front of me. The skirmishers. Right, end turn. Oh they boy. Have a, they have a range of two. They probably throw over those guys. Oh. Get off me. I don't want to spend my orders on you. We have a battle over here going on now. Okay. So if I go to attack. They will lose a lot. But my worry is. They throw a whole other unit behind them. Hmm. Oh, they also had HP. And so I can keep attacking now, basically? It's like, that's... That would be awesome. No, uh, I don't know. like it. It seems like it's... it's... Where your stamina is wearing down, though. Okay, so it took three to do that, and I'm at two. Is their stamina hurt? Or is their experience the orange bar underneath them? Oh, maybe. Maybe that is experience. Health for 14 out of 20. No, it says we have four more moves for fatigue. I can disengage and move back. But, I mean... I feel like just staying here and, and fighting at least these guys. Uh, attacking, promoting, or assigning general puts you on cooldown. Ah, okay. Thank you, Dr. Quack. Alright, so I'll have them chill out. The doctor spot. is in. <laughs> yes. Uh, what can I go that way? Oh! Well, yeah, you gotta do that. If there's a heal action, you should do that. Let them keep beating themselves against you while you heal. An attack. I have to be in friendly territory. But I cannot do that yet. Dang it. So I found the Danes, again. Right here above Sparta. Oh yeah, you're, you're talking. If they decide to attack you, it's over. Oof, I need that. Troops discover a towering wall depicting images and carvings belonging to an ancient civilization. A general want to preserve such finding. What do you advise? Bring the wall to Sparta? The whole wall? That is a very Spartan yeah. thing to do. Like, who's gonna... a hell of a workforce. <laughs> Alright, I want this wall over here. Yeah, I want the whole wall. What does it give you? It says I be, uh, King Philip becomes steadfast. And versus barbarians against 25% attack. Hey, that might be good. Looks like I'm getting a wall, boys! <laughs> I'm gonna tropify you. Let's go. <laughs> that seems way too good to pass up on. Going that way. Alright, I gotta go deal with the children. Alright, thanks for hopping in and providing the help. Yeah, you're gonna lose now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Peace, man. <laughs> hey, what's up, Crip? Yes, he, he currently is a general. I do have him as a general right now, fighting against some Danes. Our explorers recovered a cache of star charts. We should receive these charts. Scouts? Hmm. A great scientist would probably be very useful. The Mysticles! 